Good afternoon, Prime Minister Trudeau, Prime Minister Attal, veterans and distinguished guests. Bonjour, Premier ministre Trudeau, Premier ministre Attal, veterans et distingués invités. I'm honoured to join you to commemorate the bravery and sacrifice of the Canadian troops who gave so much 80 years ago. On June the 6th, 1944, as part of the 150,000 Allied troops that landed or parachuted into Normandy, 14,000 were from Canada. Far from home, they stormed these very sand dunes behind me, shoulder to shoulder with thousands of British troops. Standing here today in peaceful silence, it is almost impossible to grasp the courage it would have taken to run into the fury of battle that very day. The assault on D-Day remains the most ambitious military operation in history. The events of that windy, grey day ultimately led to the liberation of Europe, but it came at a heavy cost. We continue to honour every Canadian who gave so much, every Canadian family who lost a loved one, every Canadian who lived with the scars of battle, both physical and mental. I want to thank you, our veterans, for your extraordinary acts of bravery and sacrifice on Juno Beach and the liberation of Europe. All of you demonstrated heroism and determination that ensured fascism was conquered. The commitment to service displayed by Canadian troops is a great testament to the strength of the people of Canada. Canada and the UK continue to stand side by side, as we did in 1944, just as strong together 80 years later. Ensuring the memory of those who fought for freedom lives on is why we've come together again today, to say thank you. Thank you for our freedom and thank you for your service. Merci pour notre liberté et merci pour votre service.